Okay, good morning, YouTubers. Um, today I'm gonna. This is Pete again. Today I'm gonna do my final drive and transmission oil change. And I'll let you know. I'm gonna do it all at the same time because all you need is one quart. I bought this at the BMW dealer. That's what they gave me. Synthetic is probably the best to use, but uh, that's what they, I bought. 75W140 gear oil. Um, and the tools you're gonna need. I got this chart off the internet. It's kind of nice. It's uh. You know, it gives you the equivalents from newton meters to inch pounds, foot pounds, so it's kind of nice. I got varied uh, sizes or inch pound torque wrenches, foot pound torque wrenches. So, all right. So for the uh, for both, all you need is uh, 28 ounces total for both. So one quart will do both. So you don't need to buy more than one. Okay, for the transmission. It takes about 20.3 ounces or 600 milliliters of the fluid. Uh, the large drain bolt, which is on the bottom, which I'll show you, it gets torqued to 41 foot-pounds, so you're gonna need a, a large torque wrench. And so you can see what I'm looking at. And a, a large 14 millimeter um, Allen or hex socket, because otherwise you can't, um, can't torque it with a regular Allen. Uh, so get yourself, you know, you don't have to buy a snap-on or whatever, but uh, get yourself something on eBay before you do the job, but it needs to be a 14 millimeter, and the other one is an 8 millimeter socket. All right, so get yourself a set of sockets for uh, metric sockets up to 14 millimeter for this bike. You don't need every every one, probably need 14 and 8 and 6 and, you know, varied sizes. You don't need a whole set. All right, so... Um, uh, here's the Torx, the transmission. The large bulk it's, uh, has no seal on it, so it just um, gets torqued to 55 newton meters or 41 foot pounds. That's why I got the big wrench here. And the oil fill bolt is 17 foot pounds. And that's the same, or 23 newton meters, that's the same torque for both the final drive drain bolt and fill bolt. So one torque wrench set to do that. To do the final drive, you're going to need a 19 millimeter wrench or more likely a socket to torque it. I'm going to use the wrench to take it off and the socket to torque it. And that gets torqued to, like I said, 17 foot pounds or 23 newton meters. And the uh, fill bolt on the top is 6 millimeter hex, okay, for torquing that. So that's all you're going to need to do the job. And let's get to it. Let me show you where they are. Okay, here's your final drive. Okay, the first thing you want to do is take off the fill bolt, all right? Because if you can't get that off and you take this off, you're screwed. <laughs> so take this off first. Take a look inside there. The, the fluid should be filled right to the bottom of the uh, of the opening, all right? So that if it's drained, you know, down lower, then you may want to take your, you know, cut one of these off. And these are different size. These are not the normal size. Um, uh, what do you call these? Tie wraps. So you may want to have to order these because they're thinner than the normal ones. So you may want to take this off and pull it out and see if it's leaking out of the pinion seal down into here. And if, especially if your fluid's low. If it's not, then you're good. You don't have to do nothing. So the drain bolt's on the bottom, 19 millimeter. So pop this off, take a look at it, and pop this off, drain it out. It's only a little bit of fluid. I forgot the uh, total amount, but it's minute it's like seven ounces or something like that okay here's your looking forward here's your transmission fill bolt right here all right i think that's eight millimeter i believe and if you look on the bottom i got a mirror this is the one that makes a mess because the side stand or the center stand is right in line with it but if you look right in this large opening right here there's your 14 millimeter uh, hex bolt that you got to take off. There's no seal on this at all, okay? So don't worry if you don't see a seal. That's normal, but it gets torqued to 41 foot-pounds. All right, so, but it's gonna get on the, it's gonna get on this, so you may wanna, if you can buy one of those pig mat, um, uh, form a funnel, I think they call it. It's, I haven't bought one yet, but they're nice. You can kind of form it right over the top of this, right into your drain pan, so you don't make a mess. That's why I put the uh, cardboard down underneath the bike before I start it, so I'll make a mess of the garage. Okay, let's get started. Okay, let's start with the final drive. So I broke this loose already. Okay, 
could we use the seal for this? This one doesn't really do much, but uh, I, have a, I have new seals as well. That one's off. And there shouldn't be a lot of fluid coming out of this. I'm holding the drain bolt in while I'm pulling it out so it doesn't pour it. So, nice and red. So the good thing there is a um, magnetic uh, drain plug on there, so you can you want to clean that off. Just, it looks just minor fuzz. I'm going to clean this off perfectly so it's nice and clean. So next time I change it, I know how much has worn on there. You're going to fill it right to the bottom of the threads. So as you're looking in there, you'll see the threads. That's where it should be. We're going to put a new seal on the bottom on this and retorque it. And that's it for this. It's pretty, pretty simple. I got a new O-ring for the bottom because I don't want to fill this up and have this thing leaking after, you know, then you got to drain it again. So just try to, you know, pre-plan, get yourself a new O-ring. I clean that nice and clean. I'm going to torque that first. Yep. Torque this first, and I'm going to fill it right to the bottom of the threads and install the bolt. And you could reuse that, that one. Okay, you don't want to over torque these because you'll, if you rip this out, <laughs> you got to change this whole thing. Major job. All right, so that's in. I'm just going to clean that off, make sure I have no leaks after I'm done. And this is a little lighter color, amber color, as opposed to the previous, which was red. No big deal. And I'll look up how, what the frequency of this changes. I can't remember off the top of my head. So right at the bottom of the threads on the back side, okay, that's where you put it. And just re make sure you got the seal on there. And this one's going to be 17 foot pounds or 23 newton meters. Just came as the bottom. Bet you need a hex to do this one. So, same torque wrench setting with a hex. That's it. Done. I'm going to use your mark down the miles. So, I'm going to. I'm going to take it for a test ride and I'll double check there's no fluid dripping. Because I did spill. So I'll clean this all up. And that one's done. It only takes five minutes to do. Okay, on to the transmission. Okay, we're going to start by taking off the fill bolt first. Like I said, you can't, you can't get this off. Then you take the bottom off. You won't be able to do anything about it. That one's off. And this one has a, it's a fill to spill, so it's pouring out right now a little bit. So I should have put the drain plug underneath. So it's, uh, but when you fill it, you're basically going to fill this up until it spills out. And once it stops spilling, that's it. You're, you're right at the point it's supposed to be. All right, and there's no seal, so I'm going to pop that off next. And you need to use a breaker bar or a large... Uh, half inch socket so I got this one set up already it's got a 14 millimeter on there also just cut this out of like a water bottle I figure I'll put it underneath and hopefully it'll drain over the top of the sand like I said it's not the easiest thing to get off so you want to Loose. I'm gonna put this back underneath here. I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna try to put that underneath there and hold it. It's always a mess, no matter what you try to do. That's why I got the cardboard. So I'm 
not holding the phone on these my socket moving this off. I should start talking about the second here. And I'm pushing up on it at the same time so it doesn't just pour out all over the place. Still getting on the some parts of the stand, so no matter what you do, you're gonna have to clean this up. Hope you can see what I'm doing. Pull this off over right here. And this also has fuzz on it, little pieces, so I'm gonna clean that off, inspect it. That's a magnetic drain plug. See there is fuzz on there, little little pieces. So I'm gonna clean that off nice and good and make sure there's nothing on there for next time. This does not have a seal, it comes with no seal. That's normal. So here's your 14 millimeter drain bolt, no seal, and your eight millimeter hex uh, fill port, which goes right there. And then I'm putting a new seal on. I'm gonna wipe down that uh, this part here. Make sure it's nice and clean. Especially the ceiling surface, the flat part. I'm just gonna thread this back up inside. Do it by hand so, it's, so I don't cross thread it. This goes down, should be recessed in all the way maybe an eighth of an inch or so I'll get my torque wrench set 41 foot pounds I need an extension I'm going to clean that off I'm going to make sure I don't have any leaks just sitting static especially clean the top of the side stand with some cleaner, brake cleaner or something, so that looks, I can see if there's leaks later on. Okay, I'm just going to fill this till it spills out, and then reinstall this and torque it to 17 foot-pounds or 23 newton meters, and we're done. Give it a test ride. Thanks guys.